Here's a guitar with old tuners that won't even turn. It's a 1954 Gibson ES-175 that was put in the closet in 1960 and hasn't been played since. The Cluson Deluxe tuners are all dried out and they need to be lubricated. This one doesn't even turn. This one's pretty stiff. That's a stiff one. These will turn. That's nice. This is a little stiff. I'm going to take them off and clean them out and give them a little bit of lubrication. I like to warm the housing up a little bit. I can use this oil-filled space heater. It's winter outside. So when I squirt some naphtha in there, it'll flow through better. It's warm, not hot. And what I'm going to do is squirt some naphtha in there. You could use lighter fluid and rinse out the dried whatever it was, some kind of grease that they pack them with. And probably I'm going to rinse out little chips of metal that's still really stiff. At that point I'll just pour the naphtha on it and let it have a little bath and let it sit for a minute. It's starting to budge. Stiff. Hear it? I'm going to give it a little shot of triflow. See if that'll loosen it up. There we go. There we go. It's really hard to hold on to a tuning key and wind the post. So I made a holder to hold it while I break it in. And it's working now. It's still stiff. And I wouldn't do this on the guitar because I'm going to squirt some more juice in there. And I wouldn't run that into the finish ends of the wood. That's great. I've seen a lot of peg heads where somebody oils the tuners right in place, squirts the oil down the hole. And that's not a good idea because it gets in the wood and you can strip out the mounting screw holes and split the finish and other bad things. This is the way to do it.